the spring, a dogwood tree in New York will bloom later than a dogwood in Georgia. Why might that be? One way to better understand the timing of the onset of spring is by planting genetically identical plants, or what scientists call clones, in different locations, and then making observations throughout the year, noticing when they leaf out and flower. The clones will respond to their environment in the same way, regardless of whether they are planted in New York or Georgia. When phenology observations are made on cloned plants, such as the cloned lilac or the cloned dogwood, we know with confidence that differences in the timing of flowering and leafing phases are due to the differences in local environmental conditions and not due to varying characteristics between the plants. Information about the timing of these phases is valuable to researchers interested in studying plants affected by earlier or later spring seasons. If you live in a part of the United States where lilac and dogwood species grow, consider contributing to this valuable effort by purchasing, planting in your yard, and observing a cloned lilac or a cloned dogwood. Tell us when you see phases such as breaking leaf buds, open flowers, and ripe fruits. Phenology observations of common lilac and flowering dogwood can enhance the decades of lilac phenology observations that have been collected across the United States for over 50 years. Comparing the phenology of common species with that of clone species enhances our understanding of genetic and environmental influences on these plants. Visit our Join a Campaign page to learn how to sign up for these campaigns, purchase your clone plants, or learn how to monitor your favorite common lilac or dogwood. And thank you so much for participating in Nature's Notebook. Thank you.